Welcome back, Magic Green Wanderers. It's me, Lila, and it's me, Janine. Talking to the moon. And today is another travel day. Today we are travelling to Roma, to Ooh. Rome, to another camp that we went to in 2018 called Camp Fabulous. But we have a very, very long, long, long yeah. train journey ahead of us. Fabulous. <laughs> not gonna miss these stairs, are you, Luna? Today is going to be a good travel day. That's what we keep saying to ourselves, it's our little mantra. Today is a good travel day. So, the furthest building up there is the train station. Our hotel, Goodnight Moon, was pretty much a straight run, straight walk from the train station. Like 10 minutes and then up those stairs. The room. The second time we got off the train. The room was beautiful. Um, it was 154 euros for two nights just for the room um, and Wi Fi. That was nice to have, wasn't it, Lou? But the Spezia itself, I think it's really lovely. There's parts of it that we didn't show yet that we came across and weren't vlogging, like the harbour with all the yachts. Um, last night we like stumbled upon like a little square where everybody was out having a little drink and kids were dancing. So I think the Spezia has quite a nice feel to it. I think it's just not really on the map as much because it's so close to Cinque Terre. It's definitely a more... Um, viable option to go to Cinque Terre in terms of cost and the trains were so so simple to do so yeah I'd recommend staying in La Spezia. Luna's got a giant ham and cheese toast thing and that was three euros some peach tea I've got a pistachio croissant and a cafe and we've got some popcorn for the journey. So we are now on our trip to Pisa and Charlie where we only have minutes to catch on connecting train to room. I know six minutes to get our connecting train is not gonna be an easy task Fun. but today is a good travel day. Good travel day. So yesterday um, I booked these tickets yesterday morning when we were getting our Cinco Terra cards. Um, the train station was heaving and I booked the wrong ticket so I've booked regional trains which take forever um, it was 29 euros I think it was and I was like that's really cheap like why is it that cheap and then last night when we got home I was like shit it's that cheap because it's going to take us five and a half hours to get there so I could have got an intercity train it would have been more expensive but it would have got us there in like three hours so my bad we're almost pulling into Pisa to get our connecting chain but this was so the bridge down there was the one that we walked over in our Pisa vlog it's pretty not gonna lie I'm a little bit anxious about trying to get our next train in time oh my gosh so we have made it um, we got off a binario owner in um, platform one and then we had to stop find a screen that has all the trains on it and found that our 1145 train was on platform 12 so we just had to go downstairs through the tunnel up the stairs and find this one and we did we got on and the man went you have seven minutes you have seven minutes we made it with seven minutes to spare <laughs> and now we've got another four and a half hours. Yeah, we got four hours oh. 19 on this train. But luckily for me, I downloaded two Star Wars movies, two and three entire series, two more movies, two more movies, and another movie. So Luna's got plenty to do. I don't need all that stuff. Like I've got my book, my audio books, my journal. I'm gonna do a half an hour meditation because I really feel like I need to ground. <laughs> I do. You always do. I've got me. I've got my crystals in my bag. Some smoky quartz just to settle my centre before we get to Rome and spit off in a movie. Falling. I didn't realise the route that we would take along the coast. I thought that we were going like through the centre of the country, but we're not, we're on the coast.
Vi invitiamo i viaggiatori a prepararsi per tempo alla discesa utilizzando le porte più vicine a quelle fuori servizio. We've arrived at Roma, but lots of things have changed. I feel like Roma Termini stations changed a lot. We've come out of this random exit, but get on that street art. That's so cool. Tons of it. Right, stay here because there's cars. Come on, Lou, we can do it. Oh. <laughs> Nearly at the top of the hill. Things are starting to look familiar. Yes, Luna. Luna's just said she remembers the bus stops because it's where we did the night tour. And the Mahis, yeah. <laughs> so, we think we've got to get two buses and they are not familiar because that's not how we got to the camp in 2018. But you know what? We're just wangling it. Today is a good travel day. The lady in that information centre then was so lovely and helpful. Um, so we go over here and we buy bus tickets. I wasn't sure how we pay on buses here after what happened to us in Verona. So we're heading over here to buy ticket buses, bus tickets. And then we think our bus is over here too. It's hot. We're on the bus. It's very, very busy. It costs one very hot. 150 euros each, but I think that gets us all the way there with two buses. We've yeah. to stand with our suitcases yeah. right at the very front of the bus, which is quite funny. <sighs> Just having a little tour through Rome and on our travel day, you know. Going on, on hard. How long are we on this bus for, Luna? 40 minutes. This is a very good. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's a good episode, not Oh yeah, and there's the Coliseum, you know. <laughs> That's mad. Ooh. Ooh. Really not that it's the third time you see it, is it? Huh? Hey. No. I, at least. Did I just do the two big From the other side. It's gorgeous. The bus is just like massively cleared out, so we have actually got some seats. So while we're on this first bus, I was just going to explain these. So you buy, anyone over the age of 10 has to have a ticket. And this is like a, a one journey ticket, but you can use it as many times as you want within 100 minutes. After this one, it's like a three day bus ticket. And then they also do a week bus ticket. I can't remember how much the three day one was, but the week one is like 24, something like that. So. We're only planning on coming into Rome for one or two days and then going to Naples. Um, so I think we're only going to need like three days. So I might get the three day one. So you know like when, um, when you get off a bus and you're in a foreign country and you don't really know where you are. Nothing looks familiar. And your Google Maps is a little bit down so you have to just stand around and wait for it to load. Yeah that. <laughs> Still a good travel day. So we think we know, um, yeah. So we think we know why we couldn't get the metro from Roma to here because the Aerofermi metro station is closed. I thought you meant the subway, like the food place. No, I thought that was the subway to the train station. <laughs> right, we've got to get over there. Come on, <laughs> Luna. This is it. This is where we used to get that bus. This is where we get the next bus from. Okay, this looks really familiar now, but obviously that is closed. So we need the 709 thing. And all over here is like a park behind these buses with trees and a little lake thing. And it looks dead idyllic now with the sun shining. But I remember like Luna obviously was, she was seven when we came here. And I remember being here late at night and it was it's dark dark as um, and it feeling a little bit ooh. Oh. second bus nothing was really looking familiar until we like came to this little guard house and then it's it's down here let's go Lou this is so funny. Go on, walk forward. <laughs> Don't fall down the hill. Go on. Ugh. 
Oh, right. So, Cam Fabulous is down here. The road, however, is not fabulous. Luna, you need to be careful because there's literally cars coming right up our bums. Oh. And this is our camp in Roma. We're doing the um, we're doing the find the caravan. Left me off with the bags. We're doing the find the caravan dance again. <laughs> I think it's this way, Lou. Stop, seconds. <laughs> She's carrying them. I forgot to add. I forgot to add him um, linen and bedding to our booking. So we just had to hire it now, and obviously we've got a carrier, and it's so heavy. Look at all these big tall trees. These are the trees that started it all in these camps for me and Luna in 2018. <laughs> our, um, our caravan is on Via Colosio. Each camp is different. Like this one was more tourist tax because it goes to the city of Rome. Um, so, and but we didn't have to leave a deposit. So that works out okay. We're both so sweaty and stinky. I'm really lost. We're really lost. Why are you stuck? I have my leg onto this and my thigh's like pushing against it when I'm trying to get up. I don't know. You're going to have to figure out how to get out. Yeah. Hi. This is Luna's tiny, tiny, tiny bedroom. Oh, tiny ass. Language, please. So, yeah, it's proper diddy. There's like a little bit of a. A thing there, yeah. That I have to um, move around like this. <laughs> this is the shower room. There's quite a bit of room in the shower room, actually. And the shower looks nice. It's so There's awesome. toilet, no toilet in here though. Um, and so this is the inside of this caravan. There's not as much storage space, so they haven't got like cupboards around here and things to put things on. Um, there's the kitchen, fridge microwave but funnily enough there's no kettle so i'm gonna have to boil a pan of water for a cup of tea this toilet it phew, bless me and this is my room i feel like these are like army sheets so i'm just in the middle of unpacking my books have got a place already shall i show you the outside our cases are literally still on there out oh, and then we have a little bench and a barbecue Go that way, please, darling. So, yeah, they're all very different, all of these caravans. This one is definitely... The smallest. Small and... Mm. Mm, not as much storage. Not as... I don't know. Not as cute, quaint, pretty, whatever. Anyway, it's where we're going to be living for the next eight days, isn't it? So, we're going to unpack. And then we're going to freshen up. And then we're going to go for some food and a drink. Because I'm starving and you must be too. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back, my tummy wanderers. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're in with a little bit delirious. Um, it's now like half past eight, and so we left. We left Lisbetia at nine this morning. It's half past eight, so I feel like we've been. It's been a really long day, long but day. it has been a good travel day, hasn't it, Luna? It's been a good travel. I feel like it's been. Better than the other we haven't side. been lost like it has. And she hasn't cried once. I haven't cried once. I mean, you say, you say that like it's a bad thing to cry. <laughs> no, I mean like because you've cried like the entire. You time. need to cry, have a cry. <laughs> so we've just freshened up slightly. I haven't done anything with my hair because no, I'm just not doing that today. Because she's lazy. We're gonna go and find the bar. Legs. I used to call Luna, I used to call her little legs, but I've changed it now to just legs because they're just not so little anymore, it's long and brown. Um, look at the trees. In the flowers. I wouldn't, you can't go. These are the little lodge tents. Um, there's all showers at the back there. But you have got like a little toilet thing in your lodge tent and we were nearly booked one of them. 
And then this is the kind of little centre bit where we first came in. Did we fill, did we vlog when we were here? I vlogged. I can't what remember now. So we think that this is the bar restaurant type thing. We didn't actually come here when we came here in 2018. We just had a very, very busy week, so we'll go and see what's in here. Ristorante Favoloso. And then this is the restaurant. It's quite cute. We think there's a bar and a restaurant. So we're now at the restaurant. We just ordered. I got a lasagna again. <laughs> I love it. Please come down to a sweet trial. That's an Italian lasagna. And um, I think it's got a strange atmosphere. Like, hmm, feels different than Florence. I mean, Florence we knew when we had expectations for, but I think coming into this one we do it because we know what to expect. Yeah, like, oh, it feels oh, very oh, new. Oh, Nothing feels familiar, which is good. Which is good. Get it's us out of our comfort zone again. <laughs> but I think we're going to sign off from here. So I hope that you've enjoyed our very piggly piggledy travel yeah. day again. It was a good travel <laughs> it day. It was a good travel day. We spelled that. Um, and we will, we will we will tomorrow we're having a pool oh, yeah. day so we'll I'll film that yeah we'll take it around again tomorrow um and yeah that'll be it some sense that look as always and i'm gonna take over the phone why stay awesome stay wild love yourself too but it would change it bye magic bit wanderers bye <laughs> talking to the moon